Welcome to the County of Conwy, a county that's home to some of the UK's leading food producers. The County of Conwy has so much to offer, from a distinctive coastline to rolling fruitful grasslands. Every year in October, Conway hosts North Wales's largest food festival. Lasting over two days, it attracts over 150 stalls and over 25,000 visitors. It's a great opportunity for the food producers to showcase their produce and also a chance for the public to taste and experience local produce by local producers. In the next half an hour, we'll go on a whistle-stop tour of the county and meet some of these producers. So get ready for a gastronomic journey through the county of Conway. Our journey starts in the small town of Llanroost and our first stop is at Cai Melwyr Farm. Alwyn Hughes and his wife Kerry diversified from traditional farming and now produce homegrown fruit and vegetables from their farm near Llanroost. Well, I'm trying to get a farm to live out and in Corfe Catevait. I will am I am is for a little a little area. I get a little bit more to visit the shop. I get a hanger process in there. I'm trying to visit the from Ikeni Trite, Kohano, Lashaya, Fruite, through to Marigate. I plan here to connect them up with the Nkoko and Kumpas Tiatolik, Hevor, Hakka Kantam, and the Polytunnel, Shaita Ningnaida Plugs, Isimindasha near Kai. I can cover Nesha if some horror through Ruin, my height, plan the Bob Mees. So I'm even in plan the Ashland and the Kia, the Hemis Mai, a Gorfenta. Mis Gorfenev. Then in Gwerthi, Marchnad a fermwyr yn Warchotfa yn Conwy, unwaith y mis, ac ar y cei yn Conwy, mae hwn nhw hefyd unwaith y mis. Then i hefyd yn Gwerthi i'r co-ops sy'n mynd drwy ysgolion ac ymdeithasau lleol. Then i ar hyn o bryd, yn mynd ar rhai i ysgol y Cryddyn, ysgol y Gogarth, Cap o Garmon, Pro Cernyw ac Ysbetifan. Hefyd yn dymhorol, dibynnu â beth sy'n dyna, mi fydd allwch ddod heibio'r fferm a bethau a gwerthu yn syth i'r cwsmer. Rydyn nhw'n gobeithio fyddwn ni'n mam sawl blyddyn eto a fel mae tanwydd yn mynd yn ddrud a bethau. Beth sy'n well na prynu llysiau sydd yn agos iawn i, i lle maen nhw'n cael eu tyfu, so dyn nhw'n gofod trafilio'n bell iawn ac yn ffres. Our journey around the county of Conwy carries on, and our next stop is in the centre of Llanroost. Tihuntir Bont is situated on the banks of the river, and is a unique tea room run by Tim and Ira Maddox. In this National Trust building, you can enjoy afternoon tea and the best homemade cakes around. We trade as Tihunta Bont, which we started nine years ago um, as a tea rooms cafe here in Clamroost. It's a great location. Uh, we're only open for seven, eight months of the year here, but we've got a fantastic following. We have a footfall of about 40,000 people in those seven months. We did the typical uh, lifestyle change thing where we came from London. Uh, we had a very hectic publishing business there. We relocated up here with our young family in North Wales. The idea was to create a business which would be more family orientated, uh, something which we're really proud of, something which we can go out there and say this is something that we've made this and that we're, we this is what we do. It, yeah. After a few years of developing the tea rooms, we decided that what we'd like to do is take our products out and give them to other shops and other restaurants to sell. And four years later, uh, we decided that the business was big enough to create a bespoke bakery for ourselves. Uh, which we've done, and our product range is just growing day by day. Our best sellers here at the Tea Rooms are definitely afternoon cream teas, freshly baked scones, still warm from the oven with your jam and your cream. The wholesale side, it's our traditional barabrief, 
fantastic recipe. Everybody's granny's got a recipe, um, but we happen to think ours is the best, and, and our customers seem to agree. The thing about our products is that they are genuine products. They're not made from mixes, they're made from real ingredients. If you want a carrot cake, then we make a cake that starts with a carrot being peeled by hand. There's no enhancers, no flavourings, no modifiers. There's not an E in sight. It's basically a cake that, if you had the time to bake, it's the cake you'd like to make. It's great that the Conway Valley is now becoming known as a, as a food-producing region. There's, there's more and more of us who are producing good, quality, proper food, and it's bringing people into the area to experience that food, and it's a great thing. There's no need now for, for local people to go to the big supermarkets to buy what more than likely is going to be processed food when you can buy proper, genuine, handmade food locally. There are enough producers now in this valley to, to, to cover the whole range of your diet with proper food. Basically, anybody who wants to buy our products can contact us direct and we will ensure that they get to you. It's great because we have been recognised by the True Taste of Wales. We've been commended here as a venue at Sihunse Bont. Uh, but we've also been commended for our Barra Breath. We've got a uh, gold star from the Great Taste of Britain for our tray bakes, our flapjack. These competitions are great because they bring uh, recognition to the food producer. You're not going to win every year by any means, but just to get recognised, I think, is a great thing for everybody to see. Our journey carries on down towards Beto Sakoid. The small village of Aspatyvan is situated in the highlands above Betu Sakoid. Diversified from the traditional methods of farming, Trevor Roberts and his family run a small business selling fresh eggs. I'm going to farm in Kevnissa, in Aspatyvan, in Sakoid, and I'm going to farm here. I'm going to to the right line, so I'm going to go to the right line. I'm going to go to the right I started my I can bet a coat allowed easy to sarost. Marway heavy the gal, my own high market of Fenway, my own cool conway, I have it in Queer Vale, I have it in Taipuitsa, seven of them to ask in Lisa. Metty to Villa Tech, the Sunny and East Copper, two of them to ask in Lisa, save fine farm produce, Copper's Caleroid, Irwin's Connerchy. And Sail, a Kanerchi or Savon, a new Mahadi with a fars, a Kanerkali Kanerchi, but even this Havan or Middle West. On Boret near Hindu Breed, well, Sailly, the Catholic Kanerchi, Kanerch or Savon or a another Hindu we put a Tani Kalandal, Kanakos Meriad, a report and Kanerchni and Botlani Pau Mabo of Orion, a Gwesley, Tosa Hindu Breed, Aras Feltani, a Kanerchis, Kanerch or Savon or We now travel back to Llanroost for our next producer. Blas Ar Void is a company with three outlets in Llanroost. Daniel Ap David, the founder of the company, now runs a restaurant, a delicatessen and a successful wine shop in the town. Or Cachwin Canta, that's Lucky Blasar Wood, well, Clustor of his Nessa, my Clustor of his Nessa, Western Guithia Wessa, Yiner Benihin, and Gurion of Benathni Cachwin Oid, Cal Kicking Ganerchi, Erwin Cal Canerchi, Buddhist Fresh, and Blasar Wood, I would another name Coven Worthy, and the other name Man Worthy, Drew Shop, I go heavy, heavy, Gosanath, Arluya. Well, the Chrehen meal now with with through a Chadi Drossi came on another all, Pesach. He should have Nolly Gumri, Dim Gwaith and Arartel, Dim Gwaith and Humri are a Kavnadna, a Pendervani, Nadana de Marseille, only Gilkachwin business in Hinning. 
Dros amser, mi ddatblygodd Blas Arwyd yn rhyw dri brand gwahanol, sef Blas Arwyn, Blas Arwyd ac amser da. Y rheswm dros gynhyrchu bwyd ym Blas Arwyd yn y cychwyn oedd bod ni ddim yn hapus gyda'r bwydydd ffres delicatessen oedd ni'n medru brynu ar yr amser hynny. Felly, yr unig ateb oedd cynhyrchu'r bwyd yna yn ffres ar yn cyfer ni'n hynny. A go hynny o beth, oedd ni'n gweld bod yna farchad gyfanwerthio i gael ei mewn i siopau eraill ac i mewn i westau a thai bwytau eraill. Mae cychwyn busnes ar unrhyw amser yn eithriadol a anodd. Beth sy'n bwysig gyda'i cael y syniad yn iawn, cael y gwaith cartran iawn, cael y lleoliad yn iawn, a cael y brydrydedd ar tîm yn gywir. Dyna sy'n mynd i roed y tyfiant i chi, a dyna sy'n mynd i roed busnes llwyddiannus i chi. Fi yn mynd i byg sydd yn dewis bwyd y diod sy'n dod i mewn i blas ar fwyd, nad ydyn ni ddim yn cynhyrchu yn hynny. Dwi'n bod yn gweithio hefo gwin yn broffesiynol ers dros ddenglau'n ddyr ugen. Da ni dod i nabod tiliedd arbennig hyd a lled y byd erbyn hyn. Yr un peth ar roch o'r bwyd, da ni'n delio gyda arbennigwyr yn yr eidol, re eraill yn Sbaen, re eraill yn Lloegr neu yng Nghymru, ond chwilio am y gora o'r gora, am y prisio gora, er mwyn i ni fedru cario ymlaen yn y math yma fusnes. Y brif wobr da ni wedi ennill lenni ydy tair serenair gen y Taste Awards am yn Putin Dolig ni. Mae hynny'n golygu bod gen ni Putin Dolig gora'r byd, lle mae 36 o brif farnwyr bwyd prydain wedi deud yn unfrydol bod hwnnw y werth tair seren. Ddwy flynedd yn ôl, nath ni ennill yr un wobr gyda marmled. Math gwahanol y gynnyrch yr un un lefel o wobr. Dyna da ni'n hoffi gael ydy gweld ystod gitbwys o wobra. Mae blas ar fwyd yn edrych i dyfu, da ni'n edrych yn amlwg i fod o well gwasanaeth i bob cornel o Gymru. Mae yna syniadau eraill ar sut da ni am ddatblygu blas ar fwyd, ond mae hyna yn gallu cadw yn weddol ddistaw ar y funud. We now travel to the north of the county and to Glan Conwy. A stone's throw away from the mouth of the river and located on the family farm, Jonathan Hughes set up his own brewery company, the Great Orm Brewery. By now they produce an array of beers, all locally named after the area of Conwy. The Great Orm Brewery uh, was established in 2006 and basically it produces uh, real ales and uh, more recently uh, lager. Since we started, still about 80% of, of what we produce is, is sold within North Wales and, uh, and that's something we want to, to, to develop really. The North Wales market has been uh, a bit of an ale desert for a number of years and, and we're trying here at the Great Orm Brewery to change that. It is on the site of the old family farm. My parents were approaching retirement and I'd, I'd worked down in the southeast after moving down there from up here. Um, so after 10 years down there, um, I decided to move back up here and, and start the microbrewery. We've got four real ales. They range in both style and in alcohol content. We do uh, Celtica, which is a 4.5% blonde beer and it actually won uh, Best Golden Beer in Wales in 2009. Then we have Orm, which is uh, a standard Best Bitter at 4.2. Uh, Merlin at 4.9, so slightly stronger. A sort of a more of a fireside drink, really, you know, on a, on, a, on, a, on a cold winter's evening. And then the dark, sort of malty, rich, velvety one that we produce is Welsh Black, which won uh, Best Strong Mild in Wales in 2008. And in addition to that, uh, we've now also produced or brewed um, a lager, and that's called 1085. And of course, as everybody knows, of course, it's the height of Snowden. Fundamentally, making beer is very, very easy. You've just got to uh, make sure that you follow the recipe and uh, you don't mess about with it too much. That's the key secret. We're going to follow a line of quality before quantity. That will be our driving philosophy that takes us through. I foresee you know, in the future we'll develop a slightly more maybe esoteric niche range of beers um, that will hopefully 
be uh, embraced by a more educated, savvy consumer as they become sort of more knowledgeable about the beers that are out there. Our next location is one of the largest towns in the county, the historic town of Conwy. The riverbanks of Conway are home to our next producer and are known around the world for their mussel banks. Keeping the old mussel farming tradition alive is the Conway Mussel Company. Well, it's uh, the Conway Mussel Company run by myself and my partner and my son with us now. Um, basically, we buy in mussels and we get them ourselves off the beds and we bring them into here to our premises purify them, package them, and then sell them on to local wholesalers, sell them on the door, restaurants, hotels. Started here about 12 years ago, as we lost our old facility. Um, so the Welsh office provided us with this building, and basically we've helped keep all the local lads employed, and um, hopefully we'll continue doing that for many years to come. Typical day of a life for a fisherman here for ship for muslin is getting up maybe four or five o'clock in the morning and working on the beds for three or four hours. And then we'll come back up here and then bring them into the processing plant where we'll start the purifying process, which goes on for nearly two days. And then we will package them and get them sent off to markets and different uh, selling avenues. Working with my father's been what? I've always wanted to do, and especially to stay in Conway and, and work on the river. I've never wanted to do anything else, really. Well, I had the opportunity to go to university as well when I left school, so I, I took that. Uh, but when I came out, I still had the intention of staying local with uh, my dad and the business and that. So I've been doing it for a good five or six years now, full time. Yeah, my dad's always had the intention of, uh, obviously, one day, hopefully, I'll step into his shoes, which uh, I'd, I'd love to do, to be honest. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of things to do with the place. I'd, I'd definitely like to keep it local and keep supplying the public and local restaurants and, you know, the trade like that, really. I mean, things like this food festival that we have now is fantastic for us, so, you know, stuff like that's all good. Well, primarily, you can buy combi muscles here on the door, in the town, or you can go to Mermaid Seafoods or the Landed and Smokery locally, or many of the restaurants and hotels in, in the area. And then further afield, you can buy them in quite a lot of parts of the country as well, you know, Midlands, north of England and all these kind of places. People should definitely buy locally. I mean, uh, it's, it's the quality and the, the passion of a local product, you know. We take the, the care and the time to, to make a good... We've already got a great quality product and we just package it and make it better. We now travel back to San Roost to meet our next producer. San Roost is the home of Sugar Aspice, a bakery run by two good friends, Rhian Williams and Rhian Owen. Nath yn i gychwyn y busnes mewn siop fechan ar Stryd Watling yn Llarost. Ac mae'r pethau wedi datblygu gymun sy'n rhaid i gweiriau synnu. Mae dy ddwy yn yn ifano a gwerthu cacennau a prynu barau mewn. A wedyn, o fewn dwy flynedd, symud i fecws arall a deilad ffarm ar rhedeg y ddau le. Mae cynnig siwgr y speis yn amrywio a gacennau i seigiau sawrys, cishis, uh, Cacenna Protas a Melyswyd. Yn 2002, nes i bendd erbyn i cae y siop, roedd dull pawb o siop a di newid, oedden nhw erbyn hyn, oedd nhw'n rhoi archfarchnadoedd y nest at hynny, oedden nhw'n siop a dan yr un to. Ar ôl hynny, nes i'n symud i'r becws yn 2006, a dyn ni'n danfon cacennau i siopau a ydy eu hangun hardal yn fawr iawn. Dyn ni wedi ennill llambell i wobr dros y blynyddoedd. Rhyn cyntaf un oedd yn 2007. 
Nath ni gael gwopr am flapjacks cyrrhen stion a oedd ni yn ymfalchion hynny. Wedyn, tri am bellu wopr arall, di cael y greu test a wedyn da ni wedi trio rhoi gwir flas. A hefyd da ni wedi ennill gwopr mewn besoddwyr mewn pobl, so da ni falch iawn o hynny mae o'n greu i'r tîm i gyd a dweud gwir. Dwi'n meddwl bod ni yn ymfalchio yn y busnes da ni wedi greu i feddwl bod y peth wedi datblygu o hedyn wir i lle mae wedi cyrraedd rhywun. Ond dwi'n meddwl bod o yn beth da brwsyd da ni ddigon mawr i allu cyflenwi a gwneud yr archebion i gyd, ond hefyd da ni ddigon bach i edrych ar ôl yn cwsmeriaid a bod efo perthynas agos at yn nhw. A dwi'n meddwl bod hynny'n wneud gwahaniaeth mawr bod ni'n gallu siarad hefo nhw ar y ffôn a gweld yn union be wedi gofynio nhw. Da ni wedi cychwyn datblygu defnyddio cynhyrchwyr Cymraeg eraill um, efo caws a hufen ac yn y blaen, a'r bwriad ydy mynd i wneud mwy o hynny fel wir bod ni'n codi ymwybyddiaeth ni fel cwmni, ond hefyd cwmni y Cymraeg eraill a mwy ar y brandio wedyn. We are heading south again to our next producer, who's located near Betusacoid. Located in Pentrefoilas on the A5 near Bedusacoid is one of Conwy's newest and youngest companies. Snowdonia Range is run by Katie Evans, who produces homemade ready meals for local shops. At Snowdonia Range, you produce local produce ready meals, pies and soups. We use all local ingredients and try not to use additives or preservatives in any of the recipes. Started since September 2010, that's when I first started with the um, retail outlets and from that point developed from the ready meals to introducing the soups and also the pies. Everything is made by hand, there's no machines in, used in, in any of it apart from the you know sealing the, the packaging. The process with the soups, they're all made with a um, natural veg stock, which I use the waste from the ready meals to make a natural stock. So there's a lot of love goes into all of the, the meals. Mm -hmm. The ready meal range, I've got four um, meals. They're all very traditional recipes, but we wanted to add like a modern twist to them. So the cottage pie is a very traditional recipe, but then we've got a parsnip and horseradish mash. The shepherd's pie is made with a Welsh cheese and leek mash. And then we've got a three cheese lasagna and also a lamb lobscouse. Products are available in the Euros bars, both in Portelli and Dolgellau. Also in the shop in Pentrefoilas, Cerrigodridion, down to San Ryder, which is between Rhythin and Denby and then through to Loggerheads Garage, um, Bond Blythin, um, BP Garage and Church Castle. I'm hoping for the future to develop the website further um, and also um, increase the product range. I love cooking, obviously, and then it's, it's nice to be able to produce something that hopefully people are going to enjoy and it tastes homemade and it makes people happy because that's what food's about. We find our last producer back in the town of Conwy. No one can visit the town without tasting some of Edwards of Conwy's sausages. They are now available worldwide and who would have thought that they produced by an entrepreneur from Conwy. Map farm at we in Radio, Mang Radio in Uffrin Conwy. Other farm them dig a Maori V and I vrout. I got my V or the Q Yenga. We got an Hikiathan. The Horn and Chelsea Grado, the Atoloid. Organized the Dr. Maur Mount Business, Erioid. I will see if she dig on photos, she could win business and I can know it. The shop is going to be able to do it. And the team is going to be able to do it. And the thing is that the fruit is going to be able to do it. And the thing is that the fruit is going to 
Mae gen i ddau safle. Mae gen i ni safle y siop yng Nghonwy hyn, a wedi mae gen i ni'r ffatri yma yng Nghonwy hefyd. Da ni'n cyflogi o ddeit i deigian i hanner cant o bobl bellach. A da ni'n gobeithio bydd y nifer oedd yna wrth reswm yn, yn tyfu dros dy ddwy flynedd esa. Fel busnes da ni'n gwerthu sawl math o gynnyrch. Gwerthu lawer iawn o peis a pasteo da gynnyr blaen. Selsi gwrth reswm, ci goen a ci geidio na gynnyr blaen. Dros y blynyddoedd, da ni'n bod yn ffotys iawn fel cwmni ennill sawl gwobr bellach. Da ni'n hoff iawn o wobr y gwir las. Dwi mo bod o'n rhywbeth fedrwn ni yng Nghymru bod yn falch iawn o honno fo. A hefyd ydych chi'n cael ymborth gan rhywun sydd tu allan i'r busnes am eich cynnyr chi. A mae hwnna'n werthfawr tu hwnt. Rai o'r peth yn sy'n bwysig i fi, dwi'n teimlo di, cysondeb mewn cynnyrch. Oherwydd, peth ydych chi'n cael cysondeb yn eich cynnyrch hefyd ac yn bob peth yn ymwneud eich busnes chi. Dach chi'n wedyn yn cael ail werthiant yn eich cynnyrch, a mae hwnnw'n bwynt hynod bwysig. Dach chi wir yn neddol angen eich cysmeriad, brynu eich cynnyrch dro ar ôl tro. Dan i wan yn allforio i Ffrainc, i Hong Kong, i Malaysia, a pwysa meddwl y bod yna farchnad i Selsig wedi cael i'w wneud yng Nghonwy yn Kuala Lumpur. Da ni'n edrych ymlaen i'r dyfodol i ehangu gwerthiant y cynnyrch yma, ond da ni hefyd dros y bddwyd ar blynedd nesa mynd i fod yn weithio'n galad i sefydlu fwy eto ar y brand yr enw Edwards y Gonwy a dod â'ch cynnyrch gwahanol o dan yr enw yma i'r archfarchnad Ledled Cymru a'r Gororau. Dyna ydy rhan o'r plant.